All right, in this video, we're taking a look at all of the miners, Riot Platforms, CleanSpark, Marathon Digital, maybe Coinbase, MicroStrategy, Bitcoin. So today, BTC, let's start with that, uh, was moving pretty nicely back above its 50-day moving average, but looks like it didn't capture it. It didn't stay uh, above 60. Um, one where it was trading 61,500. That's where it was the high of a day for Bitcoin. And you can see that um, we have a clear defined uh, downtrending move right here where basically uh, if we do break out of this, um, let's say 65K, 70K, uh, it will move pretty big. Uh, and also we have literally one more day, one trading session tomorrow, Fed rate decision day, 65% uh, of people betting that there's going to be two rate cuts, which means um, 50 basis points. But we'll see what, what they're going to do. But it can fuel the small caps. Uh, and all of these stocks that we are looking at right now are very small cap names, uh, relatively, again, but right here, right now, Riot Platforms is trading at $7.10. You can see this is a daily chart I have on my screen where I have this downtrending line right here up there. This is my resistance line. And then at the bottom, you can see we are uh, still in a downtrend. Stock is trading right around it's a uh, five day moving average 20 day moving average um but unless the stock gets back above it's at least these moving averages i'm not watching rap platforms to the upside because you can clearly see that stock has been in a downtrend but can it catch a bid and can it uh, basically turn around because we have seen it it has done it many many times where it sells off quite a bit but recovers and runs, it produces these like very nice 30, 40, 50% moves. So can it happen? Absolutely. So I'm gonna be watching first target, uh, $9 after rate cut, uh, if this stock catches a bid, and in general, if small caps catch a bid. Uh, I was looking at IWM today where this is a Russell 2000 where yeah, it did close positive compared to many other indices, uh, decently positive, but it was catching a lot of calls. So we'll see what happens. But it, if it breaks 225, uh, we can see uh, small caps catch a bit. And another name, Clean Spark, which does not look bullish at all. And um, in order for me to uh, basically to be bullish this name, I want to see at least this year turn green, maybe get back above $11 because you can see ultra short term, whichever time frame you want to look at it, uh, it is in a downtrend. It has captured a lot of people right here and this $15 is going to be going forward pretty strong resistance level for this stock. So, But if it does break $8 uh, to the downside, it can come down to six. So right now it's trading at $9. So Mara. So Marathon Digital on the other hand is maybe doing slightly better. Uh, I got caught right here trying to short it at $13 levels. It did reverse right back up to its same thing at 20 day moving average right now, five day moving average. Resistance for Marathon Digital would be $18. So if it um, if it builds above 20, then I would watch this name to the upside. But that's the maximum I would watch after rate right decision. And if we see some uh, craziness, um, I would watch this name maybe go all the way to $18 and reject right back down to $14 levels. Uh, if we don't see a follow through uh, for these names, because you can see uh, it all depends what uh, also Bitcoin is going to do so you can see support trend line on my chart from three dollars of last year and last year you can see higher low 
that's my area of support. So if it comes down to these $12 levels, ah, I would feel good about uh, going long, but not um, going into election, maybe after election, maybe November, December, end of the year rally, maybe I'll be watching this name. If it's hovering around these levels, uh, I would give it a shot to try to put, uh, trade it higher. But unless it gets back above uh, $20, I'm not going to be watching this name uh, to the, I mean, to make significant move to the upside. Uh, so MSTR, I think they did a convertible 700 million. They, they're basically, um, they, it's a infinite money glitch, right? They're going to do offering and buy Bitcoin. 700 million or so plus 100 million or so so that's why stock is down today despite uh btc being up uh for the day uh coinbase i think coinbase i'm i don't know what what, what what's the um uh, what it's gonna i mean how this is going to react because relatively a little bit larger cap <clears throat> this name after the fed rate decision but if it does push from these levels, let's say back to its 50-day uh, moving average. So on my chart, you can see uh, where the 50-day moving average, it's around like 200 all levels and 200-day moving average is right there too. If you're going to see this name push, I would be looking to short it over there. But if it breaches 147, I'll be watching it to downside all the way to 120. So that's the quick update for the stock. Um, and thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.